Nigerians continue to assess the account of stewardship of the President Buhari-led administration in the last one year. Many Nigerians are a bit worried about what they described as unwholesome silence towards the farmers' health crisis. How does the federal government intend to address this crisis that have left scores dead and properties destroyed? It's question time. Welcome to the program. I'm Benga Ashiru. You may also join in this conversation by sending us your comments on our various social media platforms showing on your screen. With the Interior Ministry getting the biggest chunk of the 2016 budget, it's clear that it's expected to play a significant role in this current administration's change agenda, with the police, prisons, immigration, and fire service in its portfolio. Channel's TV crew was in Abuja, where we met with the Minister of Interior, General Abdurrahman Dambazo. It calls for a comprehensive and long-term solution to the health crisis. Join us in this exclusive interview. General Abdurrahman Dambazo, thank you very much for joining us on this episode of Question Time. Thank you. The issue of farmers and headsmen crisis has been one major trend that is threatening internal security lately. What are you doing to end this crisis? Uh, we've uh, organized a strategic stakeholders meeting here in the ministry. Uh, we invited uh, other ministries, uh, the Office of the National Security Advisor, uh, uh, Defense Headquarters, Minister of Defense, uh, and so on and so forth. Uh, institutions such, such as NIPS, who have been involved in research in these areas, in order to uh, uh, prepare a, a bigger, what we term as a, a stakeholders, town hall, dialogue, uh, whereby we'll invite wider audience to discuss these issues, to dialogue, and find a lasting solution to this. But I want to point out that uh, this issue isn't uh, unique or uh, peculiar to Nigeria. We see it as a regional issue uh, because uh, this, the pastoralist transverse uh, throughout West Africa. Does that suggest the pastoralists are not Nigerians? Within ECOWAS, it has been recognized that uh, pastoralists move from one place to another. And that is why there is provision for transhuman certificate. Uh, it's more or less like their passport for movement. And uh, we need to reinforce that uh, to ensure that um, if uh, transhumans are moving, uh, we enforce that issue of certificates. But of course, even without that, uh, traditionally we've had this clash between farmers and herders, even locally. Uh, it's always been there. Uh, but the question is, what have we done to solve the problem? And uh, uh, for me, I think uh, uh, it's like um, uh, groups who have problems among themselves and they stand, you know, on a quicksand fighting each other while they are sinking. The problems are out there. It's not uh, just because of them but the problems emanate because of other factors. What are those factors? Uh, there is ecological factor. Because from in the, most of the uh, areas within the Sahel, they are being impacted by desertification as a result of climate change. That is one. So you see people migrating, including the pastoralists, not only the pastoralists, but people migrating from the north towards the south and part. And of course, in the, even in the south, we have similar ecological challenges in terms of flood and uh, erosion. 
So people move from the south towards the center. And of course, as people are moving, converging within the center, there is scarce in terms of resources, land and water to be specific. And uh, the, the smaller these resources become, the more difficult it is for people and the more conflict you have. So I think uh, to solve that problem is to ensure that we reclaim those lands eaten up by a desert and those lands eaten up by erosion uh, so that uh, we free up space. All these solutions that you've proffered so far are long-term solutions. So are you looking at short and immediate solutions to tackle this crisis? Well, in terms of security, it's just to, for, on our own part, because this is not an issue that uh, uh, relies on physical security alone. Uh, it's an issue, like I mentioned, that will involve, for instance, Ministry of Agriculture. It's an issue that will involve Ministry of Water Resources. It's an issue that will involve Ministry of Environment. So this is an issue that has wider implications. But in terms of Ministry of Interior, ours is to provide security to ensure that, uh, for instance, people don't carry arms anyhow. Uh, it is illegal to carry arms. Uh, that is one. Also to ensure that we protect communities, which is the main function of the police in terms of law and order. Uh, and of course, the civil defense is there to, to support as far as this ministry is concerned. It's also for us to ensure that we use adequate intelligence because even among farmers and pastoralists, they are low-abiding citizens. You seem to favor a non-military solution in ending this crisis. Uh, doesn't that sound too theoretical and too civil, considering the uh, violent nature of this crisis? Yes, because it's a non-military issue. Um, it's an issue, it's an issue that borders on law and order. It's not every uh, security issue that you call in the military. The constitution is very clear that um, the responsibility of maintaining law and order is that of the police. Uh, where it goes beyond the capacity of the police, that is when the military comes in. And of course, too, the, it's very clear that the function of the military is to defend the territorial integrity of the country. Uh, so and I believe that uh, if we put the police in its proper shape in terms of uh, doing its function, then there will be no need. Isn't your approach in tackling the farmer's headsman crisis too civil for the kind of crucial and emergency nature that it portends? Well, uh, 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 you, you, are you suggesting that we use the military for every violent conflict? Perhaps a level of force. Uh, I believe that uh, the, our police is equal to the task. Uh, if you have to employ or deploy the military in every case you have, then I think you may be going above board. Like I mentioned that uh, it is when the police lacks the capacity or when it turns out uh, in terms of in form of war uh, or limited war, then that is when you may call upon the military. But of course, here in the Ministry of Interior, I do not even have the powers to employ the military uh, for anything. You may also join us in this conversation by sending us your comments on our various social media platforms showing on your screen. Coming up on Question Time, what is the Interior Minister doing to improve the condition of prison farms in the country? Find out from Nigeria's Interior Minister General Abdurrahman Dambazal after the break. <laughs>